everyone I'm back again with another video I know I keep posting them all of a sudden after a while of not really posting anything I guess I guess I did go a while without posting but um I did say I was going to make a vlog about conventions and stuff like the norm so this is going to be partly that but first a little something arrived today so this is going to be part opening this and then the later part is going to be con vlog cosplay vlog so i thought i'd put both together kill two birds with one stone and since this won't take long to open i thought i'd put it in with that so i will stop chattering now so i can get to this and then get to the vlog so i don't know why i'm going like this don't mind me um so Okay, let's get to this, shall we? I'm trying to figure out where to... Okay. Um, do I have scissors around here somewhere? Okay. I'm trying not to like... Okay. in another envelope. Okay, there's nothing else in this one. Okay, so it's in another envelope, apparently. Well, this is, I guess, you know, they wanted to make sure it wouldn't break, which is good. And there we go. So it's this one that came today. That was pretty fast, because I think this one was the last one that got chipped, but it's a Chuya keychain, and this is going to go on my Chuya Ita bag that I'm currently working on. As some of you probably know about the Ita bag culture becoming more of a thing, especially over here in the United States, because it started off in Japan, obviously. Um, Ita bags are basically bags that have a bunch of, like, pins, keychains, etc etc of a certain character or theme that the person loves or obsesses over and it's basically how they show their love for a character or a pairing or a series anything you can think of and Ita translates to painful in English because it's not painful to like carry around or anything but I can see sometimes it could be depending on how much merchandise is on a bag. But the painful refers to painful to look at because of all the charms and stuff that are decorating a bag. And also painful because they can be expensive, depending on the prices of bags, merchandise, etc. But I tend to go the cheap route most of the time. I have a mink one that I made myself from scratch. And so far it only has a few buttons and keychains, but... I'm going to be filling that one up eventually, but like I go usually the cheap route and I make my own bags or I take bags that I have laying around the house that I don't really use and then I'll decorate those. But this one's going to be the first bag that I've actually bought that's an official eat to bag. So this one I'm not making, this one I'm just putting together, but for Chuya I'll do that. And the bag was a pretty decent price, and I got it off AliExpress. I should be getting that soon, so I'll post a video about that too. Like I said, I've been waiting for a few things to come in the mail. It's all relating to this, so it's all relating to my Chuya bag. Because you know how much I adore this character, so it was going to happen. Okay, so I guess I should save another video for eat a bag talk I can always show off the ones I'm working on I have more that I'm doing besides mink so I will show those eventually oh and they gave me a little that's cute so yeah definitely good I don't see anything else so okay we will move on from this now but I adore this keychain oh my god it's so cute he's like got a little pen and everything it's so cute okay I will stop talking about that. I'll move all this stuff aside. So, now, as you know, D23 is this weekend, and I'm super excited because I've never been to it before. 
and I'm only going on Sunday, but and still better than nothing, so I'm really, really excited. I'm going to be wearing Lilo from Lilo and Stitch to that con, so yeah, um, I know you guys know I'm working on a Moana cosplay, like why not bring that one? Well, because I really want to wear Lilo more, because she's one of my ultimate favorite Disney characters, and I feel like I have to wear her, because I want to wear her more, and I figured D23 would be the perfect place to, so... But I am going to bring Moana to L.A. for a beach shoot later that week, like next week, because we're going to go to the pier and I want to do a beach shoot as Moana. So I am going to bring that cosplay with me to L.A. And I will show you progress on my skirt right here that I've been working on. I know I'm laying it right here, which is an odd place to lay it on. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, so I painted all of this by hand. Yes, you heard that right. Well, these parts, like, I took, like, fabric paint and just went along here. But, like, these parts here, I used a stencil um, and just painted all of this. And I made the skirt part, too. Um, yeah, this fabric is, like, hard to sew with because it's not, like, a solid. So I put fabric underneath it so that it would be more sturdy and whatnot. So, yeah, this is the... Um, bottom layer of the skirt I have to make the top layer which I'm planning to do tonight so right now I just have this and my top is in my closet so I can't really show that right now um, but there's Pua on my bed right there and let's see I also have hey 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 I made myself I bought Pua as you guys know you remember I took a video um, but hey, hey, I made him myself, and I even um, drafted my own pattern for him. Using references of another plush of him, an official plush, so I kind of took that to make a pattern. I took images of an official hey, hey plush to make a pattern. But yeah, um, I mean, he doesn't look close to it, but kind of, I guess. I just wanted to make my own hey, hey, so that's him. So that's Hey Hey. And I think he turned out pretty good. He was fun to make. And, yep. I'm probably not going to bring them to LA because I'm only going to be able to pack so much. And I'm already packing my Lilo cosplay. So packing two cosplays, meaning I can't pack a lot of props. Um, I do have a seashell prop I'm planning to bring with me, though. It's not too big, so I can probably pack that. And I'm going to have to pack Stitch as well. And it's going to be one of those. I'm not going to say which one. Um, Eeyore's there for some reason. And I wish I could bring Angel, but no one really sees Angel with Lilo much. Because, you know, she's more with Stitch, obviously. But yeah, I'm going to be bringing one of those Stitches. So I'm going to leave that a mystery. I'm not saying which Stitch I'm bringing. So I want to leave a little surprise, I guess. At D23. So, yeah, um, so that's all about D23. As far as Zack Anime goes, I'm getting stuff for that together. Um, I'm doing Giro from Sergeant Frog, and I'm doing Barista Chuya. Yeah, as you guys know, my apron's right there. So, Giro, Barista Chuya, yeah, Moana, as you guys know, um, Shoda. From Idol Master, and who was my last one? Oh yeah, Boy from Z Ranger. I finally worked more on him. I got the shorts finished. I just have to make the top, the neck rope part, and the gloves, and I have to make the belt. So I might. Oh, I have to finish Saber Tiger too, and probably the daggers. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the daggers this time around. Since I'm going to be carrying around Saber Tiger anyway. So I might just have one dagger, but I'm not sure yet. I know it'll be kind of not accurate, but it's whatever. It's what I can have done for now. I'll have him with two daggers at PMC next year. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I also heard that they got the cast of Dino Charge at Saki Anime. So I get to meet Yoshi again. And hopefully I can get a selfie with him as a boy. So I'm really excited. Or a selfie with all of them, actually. But yeah, um, 
I'm excited. Really excited to see them. Um, I haven't watched much of the series, I hate to say, but I knew of Yoshi because he was part of um, the Toku community, community and stuff. So, and I remember seeing them at PMC a few years ago, back in 2014 when I went. I didn't go last year due to reasons. Like, I wasn't able to go. I had to house it, so that was a bummer. But it was okay. So, I'm aiming to go next year, so, because I missed out a lot. It happens. But, yeah, I'm excited. I'm getting back into, like, Sentai and Kamen Rider and stuff slowly, but... Anyways, so I don't have much to really... Well, there is Stockton Con 2. I have been thinking about that. I know I'm bringing Moana on Saturday, but my Sunday cosplays... I mean, my Sunday cosplay. I wasn't really sure what to do. Like, at first, I was going to do another version of Shoda, but then I was like, I don't know if anyone will really recognize who I am at Stockton Con. Because side M isn't really a big thing yet. It's kind of not really, not here anyway. I think at an anime con, it's more appropriate to do Shota because some people probably recognize him. So I thought, who could I do? I'm actually going to be making a new cosplay for that. But it's kind of easy. Partly, I think. I don't know. I have to make like arm things for him. I started that, but there's a lot of work left to do. But I really want to do this cosplay because I am so hooked on this series right now. It's called Boku no Hero Academia. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's everywhere. And I'm working on catching up at the moment. Started season two recently. And I love this series. I am absolutely hooked on it. And I adore it so much. Oh my god. Um, my favorite characters would have to be Kirishima, Bakugo, and Mina. Those three right there are my favorites. And I'm wanting to do Kirishima's hero outfit, except I'm going to be wearing a shirt because he doesn't wear one, but I can't do that for obvious reasons. So I'm going to be wearing a shirt. I know it's going to be inaccurate. I will get a flesh-colored one eventually for him, but for now I'll just wear like a black sleeveless shirt or something. No one's going to really probably say anything. They'll know why I have to wear a shirt, so. It's better than going without one and people being like, you can't do that, it's inappropriate. So yeah, I'm sorry, I'm like on caffeine right now, so I'm talking a mile a minute. Anyways, um, so yeah, that should be fun. Making it's going to be challenging, especially the arm things. I started that though. But other than that, I pretty much have, I need to finish the um, overskirt belt part. That's about it. Um... I'm not going to, do, I'm not doing the mask just yet. I probably will eventually. Because he doesn't always wear the mask. So, it's whatever. But I'm really excited. I love that series so much. It's like one of my recent faves. And I'm really hooked. It is so good. Go watch it. Seriously. Go watch it. What are you doing? I'm kidding. Um, But yeah, it's, oh my god, it's such a good show. Such a good show. Yeah, so... Anyways, that's it for now. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing slash con vlog video. Bye everyone!